what up everyone welcome to cali brick click episode number five wow we're at number five that means that on our all of our playlists on all of our channels there's five videos <laughs> Five that perfect big goal line is it's not this kind of weird offset with one two or three or four now it's five so now <laughs> we're at five Fifth. that was quick yeah like that Agreed. was fast that means a month has already gone by like it's More. about february for yeah dang we started this right before new year's i totally forgot about that mm -hmm. yep <laughs> that's Welcome crazy to so how you guys been today or yesterday or this past week this past week I mean, I got a little sick. I can't lie. Got a little oh, sick, but uh, got, got, got that over COVID. It. I don't think it was the COVID, man. I got over it pretty quick, and I think it was like a stomach flu. To be honest, it just it, yeah, it happened quick. But you know, ninjas handle that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, no, I've been I've been I've been good. Good, good, good. Yeah, me too. I like got a little bit better. I was coughing the last few weeks, and I feel a little bit better. My dad booked his covid vaccine on sunday so i'm really excited so i feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel if kind of the 65 and 75 and over are getting and so we're, we're doing this by age now right no longer occupation that's the whole rule that's been going around if i'm not i think it's still well. a shit show but <laughs> <laughs> i think i think they're doing the age and then they're going to do like teachers and stuff too um i hope so i don't know I know that the homeless people are probably going to get. Oh, yeah, they should probably get it before I do. That's for sure. Yeah. See, I heard I heard something about um, not having the vaccine is going to affect your taxes or something like that. What? They're trying to do something. How can they do that? That sounds like a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah it could be a conspiracy. I don't know. Totally illegal. That's yeah. That they can't do that. Yeah. See, I exactly heard this from a friend, they... and it's not. I can see. I can see where they <laughs> travel, or you can't go to school. I can see them doing that, but like this tax you <laughs> like you're gonna have to pay more that's why like nah that, that's not cool that doesn't make sense so lego yeah. news before we go on though into our actual deep topic yeah. um anyone getting anything february man I, it's it's crazy i've been going to targets and i see all these uh like all these creators like are they direct to consumer sets yeah i see a bunch of them I Oh, really? I haven't been I've, seen, I've literally seen like all the things you'd only see at a Lego store. Like all at yeah, like uh, the, the Elf House. Like the, Elf, the Elf House has the been Club at all house? the Club yeah, House. The yeah. Club house. There. All the creator cars, the, uh, the Mustang know. and the, the yeah, Harley. The Harley. That's the Harley. good, right? That's a good thing. Yes. It it's just good. Really, like, whoa, like, it's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> right? It because threw me off. Use like your Target red card on it or get like possibly Target. Let's put on credit. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but like, tar you know what I mean? Like Target. Yeah, five percent off, and that's, that's cool. It's the same thing. Right. I don't have a red card, but I think there's benefits. I have a red card. Yeah, because I use the I use the Target app, so to be able to use that, you need a red card. Oh, so, no, I have the app. Since you don't use a red card, mine's touched my red card, so I just. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I think that's like a plus with the red card, but I use the app to get like um, to just the shop, and then to get like extra deals and stuff like that. Like, you can get like. Do you do the drive up? Do you do the drive? And then they drop everything out to your I trunk. did it once. I, so I've probably gone like four times in the last year. Um, I've ordered a ton on, online, obviously, like like toilet paper and like basic stuff. And I got all my um, Lego parts storage from Target. Um, okay. And I just got that delivered. But when I went into the store, when I did this like amazing price match with GameStop for the Harry Potter stuff this summer, I just used the app for it. And it was great. They can price match on the app? It wasn't. It wasn't that that I price matched on the app. Like the woman at the front was like, "Show me the GameStop stuff." I showed her that, and she was like, she couldn't find like the products, the, the pro like the the Target pro like the Harry Potter products. And I showed those on the app for her, and then she just. Did I mean, like, and then I, had I failed it. miserably with that. I tried to get a bunch of stuff using the game the GameStop thing, and a lot of targets were like, "No, we're not going to do that." I'm like, "Okay, screw I, you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's. I I was like super lucky, but I and I only I bought one of everything except for I bought two of the um, Quidditch pitches, oh. um, and made kind of like a shitty mock with it. I mean, I'm not even a fan of Harry Potter, so I'm gotta be no. Yeah. I, I, no, I'm a big Harry <laughs> I'll Potter. I'll just get away with it. He's like, yeah, okay, cool. I've, I've oh, yeah. let's talk about ethics right quick. Yeah, yeah. I almost let's forgot it. about that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's talk about <laughs> ethics. Because <laughs> you were asking, dun, yeah, if like who's 
who's gotten any new Lego and stuff. So I ordered a couple things. I ordered um, from eBay, which is like my addiction. I got some like Hobbit stuff. You're supposed to wait till February. What? I know. I well, whatever. So <laughs> I I got the stupid coins and it Failure. broke everything. And then I got okay. So the eBay thing was before th these two orders were before I, I put a hold on it. They like came after I put a hold on my spending and the hold on my spending has gone to shit. But I ended up breaking it for like Tommy Seabricks's, you know, custom train. Oh, um and how you made the promise after that purchase. I made and your last eBay order, the large ones. I made See, that promise made after just, my just large <laughs> eBay orders. The only things I've bought since making that promise. So you couldn't last two weeks. Uh -uh. Two weeks. It's an addiction. All you have to do is have to... not buy anything for two weeks. Okay, so, okay, so right a friend of mine in the in the AFOL Lego community here on YouTube came out with a custom mock. So I bought it. And then I wanted to, to, so I bought the pieces right away for it on Bricklink. And so I felt like that was a good reason to break it. You don't support one of my friends. And then um, I also broke it because uh, for that stupid <laughs> coin, that VIP coin. Oh, man. I really want that coin. Yeah. Am I, am I one of the few people that actually want that coin? I want it now. I, I was convinced by Sans. He was. Because what I really want, I remember, I remember seeing this on, um, Jabo's thing but like the coin right it'll be cool to use it like a challenge coin do you guys are you guys familiar with challenge coins i have no idea i just like want it on my wall I'm, I'm do you know not. the concept of a challenge coin no explain okay so i know other communities outside the military one does this i just don't know which one specifically it might be like societies mm -hmm. or things like that but um a challenge coin I'm trying to think, I'm looking at my office, if I have one available, I don't see it. Um, it is like a specific coin, like for an event or like a unit or like a group of people. And let's say us three, we all went to this convention together, which would be, let's say Bricks LA, which is the mm -hmm. LA one. All three, of, all three of us went to Bricks LA and we got, we each bought a challenge coin, right? We say our, we say our pieces, we, go, we say goodbye. We see each other again, like a month later at a bar. I bring out my challenge coin from Bricks LA and you have to provide the same thing. If you don't, you owe me a beer. Mm, okay. Oh, interesting. So what what is it? What's the intention? Is it so that people carry them around so that Pretty much a one up the person next to you or like you, like it the, the rules of this are kind of like toss around. However flag. you want to make it. Like what is this? It's like your badge, you got to keep your badge on you. Yeah, so, like, badge. There, there are some there are some coins that you that nobody will ever have like like for getting one from the president right if, if the president gave me a challenge coin no one's gonna have that because i'm gonna bust it out and be like hey bust out your presidential cha challenge coin and everyone's right. like oh damn so then now 20 people have to buy me a beer so one i'm set me. the whole night i won't last more than four but that's the <laughs> concept so if we all right now there's only four coins in the lego community <laughs> I'm down with so it. It should be pretty easy to not fail at this. I'm so like, you got to buy me a pab cup. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. So you have to, if we go to a Lego store together and I bust out my challenge coin, if you don't have it, you owe me a pab cup. I like, I, I don't like it. That's I pretty like dope, it. right? Like, <laughs> I like it. I think you can start something here. I think, uh, I think I might. Yeah, because I like the, I like the pick a brick cup more than the beer almost. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't need a drink, but like, yeah. Make, hey, but if we're in a bar, it, it means more. It's more impactful to the Lego. Yeah. yeah. So then that way you get the Lego coin, right? Yeah. You make sure you, you have it if you're going to go see each other. And then we go to the Lego store because we all know we're going to go to the nearest Lego store and mm -hmm. you bust out <laughs> you bust out the challenge coin or the uh, coin. And then whoever doesn't have one, well, that person owes everybody. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like it. I like the only it. thing so you is, literally go in there and not be able to buy anything for yourself because you bought everybody pap <laughs> Like, damn, everyone brought that coin. It's like man. buy around. That would be awful. That would be so bad. Oh, that, that would happen. Funny. But then the thing is, is like so many people are going to be, no one's going to carry it around on them. People like don't even want That's to take the it thing. out. That's the thing. No fault. one's going to carry it on them. But if you make it a thing, right? So everyone knows what it is. <laughs> They're either going to carry it or already just be like, damn. <laughs> I am curious how you're going to rebrand and get this out to the. To I have no I'm idea. Down. I'm, I'm <laughs> down. This, I don't know how we're going to. I just got to make a video. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I have to get me one of those first. Are they still available? I don't know. I What's frustrating about it is that you can't use like any other like VIP kind of code with it. Like yeah. you, can't, you can't get like any promo or whatever. Not at a time. 
you just yeah, get you, that. It's, you just get that. It's it's a product on its own. It's kind of yeah, exactly. And you have to do two separate orders, like one for the case and one for the coin. It isn't doesn't the doesn't the coin come with the case? The coin See, comes that's, with that's the case, but the the case there's the other case that can hold all. I need for I need more. I go to Michael's and get a nicer case. See, yeah, I just want the so, space coin. That's it. Classic space. That's yeah. good. So yeah, I was, was like suckered into buying it and not really suckered. It was like someone else's like senses and other people, like their excitement for Dang, it that, was so that peer like, promo. FOMO. Yeah, this okay. FOMO. This community. I yeah, this community is buy big. so much more Lego because of this community. Yeah, we entice you to buy crap that you don't need. And it's like I it's don't like even think that we're doing it intentionally to each other. No, oh no, we just... are. Oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so there's well, okay. malice well, behind your head. intentionally the and non-intentionally. Yeah. I guess every way you want to go about it, we are providing some sort of advertisement for you to buy more Lego. Yeah. Because sure, I, looking like... behind you, I'm seeing the monkey mech, and I really want the monkey mech. Yeah, See? it's unintentional. Yeah, it's, I mean, it looks cool, right? But like, yeah. and I think like someone saw me building like the Chinese New Year sets. And now they're like, oh my God, I need to get the Chinese just like on a live stream or something like that. And you like, I think like I want Star Wars now because yeah. I'm around so many Star Wars consumers. It really messes with your self-control. You got to really be well, tie like that Ninja thing down. down. Acceptable to, like, Ninja has the power. I have, I have the power. Ninja knows how to myself. Oh, have self-control. We need, to, we, need, we need to know the Ninja way. The ninja way. You have to sit on a mountain top for oh, many, many damn, years. Doug. <laughs> I broke. Right. I broke before, but I, 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 I didn't feel good for it. So I was like, you know what? I got to control myself. It's That's too good. much. Well, are you gonna buy anything anytime soon, Ninja? Because I know you're very, you know, frugal with your your spending. Uh, I can't lie. I haven't really seen anything, but I did see oh, that new smart. Porsche. Yeah, that's why I, I like. Smart. I got to tone out. Like, I saw that today. For the, the white one. I don't know. I, I like it, but I'm like I'm not. Like, I'm not a Porsche fan. I don't need it. Like I'm over the Porsche with Lego at this point. Yeah, they do so many. The, like, the two large Technic sets, the you know Speed Champions, like what? There's two, three of them. Yeah. And then now we have game. this. I'm like, okay, now they're what over. What line is this in? What line is this one in? It's a Creator, creator. Expert. Creator. I, I like that. It's Creator I even, Expert. I don't know though. why I was just like I can't. It just like literally glazed right over it. Eh, it's a Porsche. <laughs> yeah, but for me, We've it's not like a day one. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna get it. I don't need the. I don't have the room for it. I don't need it. The only thing I really want now is the blacksmith shop, and then me too. That, yeah, the unless Lego good. drops something stupid, which I know they probably will, I don't plan on buying anything else. Like I bought Ninjago sets. You did those yeah. new Ninjago sets are really cool. Did you buy that like bony dragon thing? That, oh man, no, I didn't get the dragon. I only got Zane's Titan Mech, the uh, tournament elements, and then right. I have the gardens. I keep referring it to Power Rangers, so I might get canceled with the Ninjago community. Probably. If you're hey, Power Rangers is awesome. What, what's wrong? I'm with just that? saying, isn't there like a, you can look at it right here? You have different color ninjas. There are different color Power Rangers. I mean, they're all in high school. They're yeah, fighting exactly. mechs. Yeah, it's, it you know. The mech part <laughs> is there. The the connection to Power Rangers. Yeah, I agree completely. Yeah. So hey, Power you know, Rangers had know, a ninja season. Zane is Tommy. Come on, it's it. Yeah, very okay, much. Sorry, Lloyd. Lloyd's Tommy. But there's there, <laughs> there's also a white ranger one too. more girl. They need one more girl. There's only one girl. Yeah. <laughs> that shows you how much I know. <laughs> when my when my nieces and nephews talk about me with Ninjago, I literally just look at them with bla with a blank face. I, I just know that the ninjas are colored. That's first two seasons, colors. I think. I probably should watch some of it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's like kind of entertaining. I'm not like a big adult cartoon, or like I'm not a. As an adult, I'm not like a big cartoon consumer, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. Would yeah. you, I mean, Ninjago, the Ninjago community is a pretty big one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they can get pretty defensive too. So, which I guess we just lead into the topic, which is drama within the Lego community. What is the Lego community? Because we hear this all the time, which is the Lego community this, the Lego community that. But what really is the Lego community? Like, is it one giant cohesive mess or organized, like, group of people? Or mm -hmm. is it, like, a bunch of little islands that don't communicate? Right. So all three of us are kind of new <laughs> to the community, I guess you would say. And when we say the community, we're referring to the YouTube platform, which I personally think is split between two things, right? But as a whole, generalistically, there's, there's two things. You have the creator and you have the viewer. 
right? We're all viewers to an extent, but only a certain portion of those viewers are actually creators. So we communicate amongst each other all the time as creators. You get what I'm saying? Versus just the yeah. viewer who are just there to watch and then leave, watch and leave, watch and leave. And then you see those viewers occasionally in live streams, and then you get to know those people, and you start to see them. So they kind of come into the, you know, the the, the, the known community within yeah. within the platform. More regulars and stuff. More regulars. You start building so this that is a general stuff, over yeah. the whole uh, the, out of the whole thing. I'm I'm not, I'm not talking about like the Bionicle like YouTube community or like the Ninjago side. This is as a whole. So just that in itself is already mm -hmm. like. That, and, but it's also like a little portion of the general overall scheme of the Lego community, right? What do you guys think about that? I think that on this, it's honestly crazy to me because if you like without this platform, I would I would not have known about this. Like, uh, like I knew about Bionicle, but I didn't know there's a bunch of fans that like actually follow Bionicle and stuff like that. So for me, it's it's pretty cool that it ties us all in. Did you see B Fab's video? <laughs> I heard about it. I heard, I heard it's yeah, controversial. Yeah, thousand dislikes versus two hundred likes. Controversy. Dude. Like, you see, there you go. That's the power of community. That's a community that. I'm afraid now to do a video. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna do it. I was gonna diss Bionicle because I'm upset that they are. They well, we don't know, but they are technically drafted to win, right? They're, they're projected to win, and to me, I don't think. A Bionicle should represent 90 years of Lego. Yes, they had some, you know, some saving grace to keep mm -hmm. the Lego alive. But when you think of Lego, you think of the brick and the minifigure. You don't think of a Bionicle contraption. You know what I mean? Or figure, that's, whatever it is. That's just that's another topic on its own. But going back to that, like, Bionicle, like, aggressiveness. That's just one of the other things that we want to kind of dive into today, into today with drama within the community in itself. But go ahead, Ninja. Sorry, I cut you off on that one. No, nah, that's that's just basically it. Cause like people get passionate about their thing, but it, it's it, it all falls like I don't know. I feel like it's like empathy. You got to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Like they they probably grew up on it, but that's I don't know. That's that's kind of off topic. <laughs> so I'm not gonna talk about all that. <laughs> Are you scared? Are you scared they're gonna come after you? They're gonna cap. They're gonna cap me, man. I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> the last one, man. The space people were already are like, what are you talking about, bro? So I gotta, I gotta yeah, tread lightly. Did they say anything to you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you guys generally afraid of the Bionicle fans? It is, it is crazy, bro. They're like, very passionate. They're very, they're very passionate. passionate. Very I'm really passionate. curious to understand why, like, why specifically that theme. Is it because of the lore behind it? You know, I think, I think that's really fascinating. What about it? I think because I think the Ninjago fans are also really intense and same with star wars fans i think and but when you're in one of those in one of those communities you you don't really have perspective i think you kind of lose sight of it you know it's 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 kind of like what we we're talking about with lego when you're <laughs> talking to people that also consume in mass quantity and are constantly building and have rooms full of the stuff it normalizes it you know and maybe like Bionicle fans are talking to other Bionicle fans and it normalizes the passion, normalizes the obsession, you know, or same with Star Wars fans or same, you know, with Ninjago fans. This is me being like totally, I have no, I really, I don't, I am very ignorant on the topic, you know. But I do wonder, like, why, why do they hate on the video? Like, what's that going to really do, though? I mean, it's just like when you see something that you, you disagree with politically. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's gonna true. Hate. It's the same thing. Like, I'm you have really disagreement, it, it, you know, like it's. I'm sure one one Bionicle fan disliked it, shared it with his friends, and then boom, it just went viral. Like I mean, it helped it helped the video regardless if it's the dislike or like. It That's what people same don't thing. realize <laughs> with the dislike and the comments and stuff. Yeah. Like you're you're help you're promoting that video in one way or another. The, the only thing with is negativity is it promotes negativity. That's yeah. the only downside. Oh, it fuels. A whole hell of a lot and that's a big problem in the internet you know it's like we as creators are make we we make ourselves vulnerable to that and yes. you have to choose the 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 face and you have to choose the message that you're putting on your channel and how you represent yourself on live streams it's you it, it has to be a conscious decision you can't be naive to it exactly and, and like people could watch it later on too like if you you say something and Couple years later, like look at you said this. I'm like, whoa, that was like years ago. I can't believe 
<laughs> I can't believe you went back and found that. With, with so many young people, you know, like, and that consume, you know, content on the internet, like, you put something out there, even while you're live streaming or while the, the video is premiering, someone has clipped you, uh, dubbed you, remixed you, and re-uploaded you to the internet and gotten more views than your videos have as well. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty sad. Like, you know, one of, one of the close friends of, of, of us, um, mm -hmm. he has some serious haters. And, you know, when he comes around, he brings them with us or with he brings them to us, which now are forever stained in all of our videos. When you automatically get a dislike two seconds mm -hmm. into the video after just posting it, literally two seconds, you get a dislike. So, it's funny. <laughs> I mean, you, you'll see it like every time, like I look at my videos, like, oh, I got a dislike already. <laughs> the video <laughs> has been, been like 10 seconds. Posted as long as the video length. Like, yeah. the, you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. It's funny so too he because brings haters to us, but you know it is what it is. They, uh, these haters don't know that they're still helping the channel regardless of the fact. Yeah. But it's more funny, I think. Like, oh, you already disliked it, and you don't even know what it's about. You don't it's even funny. know what it's about. <laughs> I could have been offering you a million dollars at the end of it. You just stayed and watched to the end. Like, yeah, but that's a pretty common thing, not even just on YouTube, but like people tend to hate on things when they don't understand them and they're scared of them. I think a lot of that is is fear based. You know, that ignorance is really debilitating. So, so okay, here we go. So now we have we're gonna let's bring up ignorance for for a little bit. All of us being new to the platform, right? In comparison mm -hmm. to like you know the bigger channels or, or or you know some of our friends who have been here forever, um, mm -hmm. we like I like to promote on my on my stuff, which I'm trying to say more and more now is that you know I came for the bricks, stayed for the community, that type of thing. We all gravitated to this at one point, and we all think it's this lovely place to be, and then you open your eyes and you just see like oh. <laughs> It's Whoa. just like any organized group. There is, there are issues. Mm -hmm. and there, there isn't, there isn't is issues like a singular issue. There, no, there's a bunch of issues amongst not only each other but between us and other groups within us and Lego itself. Just, just all over the place. So the the Lego community isn't really impervious to like drama at all. No, and we, we know not. we like to think so. It's not impervious to human fault and gossip and hatred, lying, <laughs> yeah, villainizing, victimizing. It's not, we're not, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just like another community, but because it's like, uh, it's edited and, you know, like Instagram is or like YouTube is, it kind of, and the content that you put out there is edited and maybe gives people a false sense of reality. Is that healthy though? Mm -hmm. Is that healthy? Um, I think it depends how you consume that false sense of reality, right? I think it's safe to have spaces. Like, if you want to escape politics and conversations like what we're having right now, you know, don't watch the stream because, or don't watch this yeah. podcast because it, it's, that's not what you want to watch. You know we're going mean? to matrix everybody right now. We're gonna <laughs> what is it, the blue pill? You can have the blue pill or is it the red pill? Which, yeah. oh Choose. Which one is it? You know Choose. what I mean though? Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like that goes into like the, uh, the, the, the thing that Shai said, how there's different areas in the community. And there's, I feel like there's definitely like a drama area, which is, there is. weird to say. I mean, one, one of our friends made it very apparent that there is a group of kids who are just trolls. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. That's all they do is I troll had, everybody's I, channel. I had my first video clip made of me from that oh, group. Hey, you made it. I made it. I yeah, mean, man. that's how you know you you made you, you, you got attention. Like that's actually a not necessarily a good thing, but it's not a bad thing either. Because now, you, but now you have a target on your back, <laughs> and they'll just try to exploit everything you say, which kind of also sucks. So what happened is like I think they showed up. They showed up on the live stream and I think they were saying like awful things about what I looked like. And I said something along the lines of like, just ignore them. They're just like dumb children or something like that, you know? And I think that got clipped and, you know. Yeah. And then it went viral. It, it went viral. Know, no, it went viral. Watching. Like we, we watched, like yeah, our, like our friends watched it. it. Like five times each <laughs> that's, <viral. laughs> that's literally how you got 100 views like really nobody gives a crap <laughs> no anyone. nobody nobody's watching because like, they put horrible thumbnails we're trying to <laughs> understand it. random time they accomplished like, it, it though they like accomplished 
you know, getting my attention and our attention and, you know, um, but, you know, someone, that one, one guy made that rap diss track on Ryan. That oh, yeah, I see that. You want to repeat? I mean, like giving Ninja a run for his money. Yeah, you man, I'm shaking in my boots. I mean, hey, the kid's young, so like, hey, imagine him in ten years. I'm just saying, yeah, keep at it, keep dissing Ryan. We'll see what saying. happens. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you gotta like, and then at some point, you know, when you get to a certain part of success, do you separate yourself from certain aspects of the community? Because it's like we are here to connect with other people that like the hobby as much as you do. But then once you connect and you meet your group of friends, do you like cap it off? Do you stop? Do you stop adding more people into that group because you're increasing the the chances of you having a negative interaction with somebody? And like, because it's through the internet, you're actually not having totally normal interactions with them. So you can't always have the dynamics, like especially when yeah, people do or don't show their video, their faces on camera, there's like a lack of vulnerability that's there that usually you can experience with another person in real life. Yeah, exactly, because this is me. I'm showing you who I am. You're not this showing me who you me. are. Exactly. This and you know, one of our one of our friends is going through this right now. Like he's one of the few people that actually put him puts himself out there in the in the general space. I mean, unlike a lot of people who are at his level, they, those guys don't really get involved. Like get and what I mean by get involved, that's not just them streaming and talking to the chat. No, this is literally like you know talking on the side, DMing, talk, like getting involved in other people's videos, collaborating, all that type of stuff. Accessible, yeah, Being, accessible. yeah, very, very accessible. And now he's starting to become a recruit because of the BS that comes with this community. Because people abuse that accessibility. Not only that, they they violate his trust. Yeah. So then you know you put yourself out there to kind of like. You know, this is who I am. I, I want to help you. I want. I want you to succeed. And then you know, you you try to have fun with people, and then just people just don't. They, they cross the line, and then like you, then you start having trust issues, and then yeah. your circle just becomes smaller and smaller. Because it's the internet, and people don't behave like they would normally on it. You know what I mean? It's not normal human interaction. It's people at the worst and best of themselves at the same time. Yeah, I totally agree. So it's kind of sad though. It's really <laughs> yes. sad, but I like don't. I don't. I don't blame them. I, there, I think it's going to happen to everybody because when you reach a certain level of notoriety and fame, you're dehumanized. You're no longer a person who can have uh, faults. You're no longer a person who can make mistakes. You are, you can't have emotions. You can't be reactive to things. You, you, ha you are a person. You're idolized. So like if, you know, people who look at you as a, you know, someone to look up to and you say something stupid, now their whole world crumbles. So like, I mean, I've I've always heard this saying to to never meet your idols. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, that's the problem. That's why idolization is a really unhealthy habit. Like, that's yeah, why. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. You but I mean, it happens a lot. That's that's <laughs> why I think because everyone's like, oh, because you know, I, I don't know if you know by now, but I like to rap. So they're like, who do you idolize? I'm like, I don't really idolize anybody. Like, I was just not taught to idolize people. It's really like good. I like, yeah. I like people. That expression should be like eliminated. To be like, whose artistry do you respect and do you like yeah. try to emulate like, or something like that? You know, yeah, like, for God's like sakes, like, use your words better, people. But like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Not everyone's called you educated. <laughs> education. No, man, but everyone can pick up a fucking book. But yeah, but no one can read at a college educated level. <laughs> no, but pictures, Harry Potter, pictures. It's some pretty pictures, huh? good literature right there. <laughs> The first sentence. I need pictures. I There's no pictures every like five pages. I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. I know. I'm so I'm so condescending. But no, but the reality is like I think people, you know, I made the mistake, you know, like I was I, I, I'm I'm like new to I have like less than three hundred subscribers, you know, and I started interacting um with people that I probably shouldn't you know, shouldn't have, you know, via like Instagram chat and stuff like that, you know, that I, I don't know who they are, you know, and so it's like, yeah, but that's the only way to get involved and to grow is to put yourself out there. Yeah, it's kind totally. of scary thought that you don't totally. really know who you're talking to. But it's dangerous, man. There's some there's crazy people out there. And like, I don't think I've ever I haven't encountered any of them. But you know, are you familiar with um, two very large Star Wars YouTubers getting involved with a uh, not a white supremacist 
I'm not. I think this is before my time. That's like when I got in the community. Ninja, you want to kind of because you're talking about it from a first like this is your introduction. Can you can you go go over that? Well, from from what I've seen, I guess these these dudes they got scammed by someone pretending to be like a supporter of them, you know, and and they got scammed and found out dude was racist. Like that really shook me. I was like, man, that's that's crazy because. Like how? that really what? happens. People do this kind of stuff. All right, so, so, so someone reached out. Okay, like, so, how are they a supporter? Um, the, yeah. Both of these, both of these creators were making these giant Star Wars mocks that obviously yeah. mocks cost a lot of money. So get you know they were getting sponsored by this one person. Like I'll buy this. You know, so they'll buy, he'll buy. I I think this is how it went. Like he bought some parts. Cool, legitimate. Bought more parts. Send them his way. Send more parts. But then retook all the money back like paypal whatever so then now he's left with front of the bill like now yeah. these creators are having left like i think one of them had owed like what three grand the other one owed like yeah something like that five thousand dollars worth of but debt like, versus because now they have to pay it to themselves because the sponsor was supposed to pay them for the like break. pulled the carpet basically yeah, well because it wasn't money. it was like under the table right there was no contractual obligation it was just well, like a, yeah no a but i mean it was through through youtube you know you're putting yourself yeah. out there and say someone's in your chat like oh yeah i support what you're doing and they they start supporting you and then you find out they're fake you know but there's no middle ground though that's my point is like i i don't think those creator i wasn't there obviously but those yeah. creators never should have accepted money from them i think accepting money and gifts from from people online is is a mistake that's I true think. definitely i feel that yeah. yeah but i was just thinking of the fact that there's a person you know pretending to be someone who's deliberately targeting these people because yeah, deliberately of targeting like. them welcome to you know, a woman yeah. i'm sorry Damn. but like true yeah and okay. you go to a bar and you are or what not even a bar you are literally raised as a small girl to be like people are after you people are going to attack you you constantly have to be wary. People are gonna try to buy you a drink. There might be something in it. People are going to try to buy you things to make you think like you owe them something. People have subconscious, you know, different priorities. Like it's always a lot an of agenda. And I, I'm sorry, but like, this is the world. And like, if this is the worst way that you have to deal with it, where you owe somebody or you owe the bank like $3,000, you got off easy. That's what I was thinking. Like when this went down, I'm like, definitely, but. Like Could've I was thinking, worse. like that's it, like that's all you got. Like you're dealing with a pretty serious person with a record. Like it could have not been. It could have been some kid pretending, or, like you, you know. It could have been, but based on the research and the what they posted yeah. before oh, yeah, they, they was, left, yeah. like that seemed pretty scary. Like that's the type of world where right. It could have been deeper than money. That's well, that's yeah. What gets someone could have showed up at your house with a gun, yeah, you know, lynched you, like. Awful things. Awful. And see, see this too. Like that, goes that to said, said, like so. someone can come to your house, right? Yeah. Um, some of our friends within like our close knit community, like within our circle, has been involved with stuff like that. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. this is the thing that a lot of viewers don't understand is that you put yourself out there. Like I show parts of my house. I've never showed like the full frontal of my house. Yeah. Like and nor the, should you ever or show your house on the box. Exactly. But oh, I have not signs everywhere where it's like don't don't be afraid of the dog, be afraid of the owner, and I have gun signs everywhere and cameras everywhere. So I think that should be enough. <laughs> like you're gonna get some confrontation if you show up. It's like at a motorcycle club that's we'll be here in like race. two seconds. Right. Like <laughs> right, I'm not an easy target. I have a cat <laughs> and I hate guns. So <laughs> <laughs> but that's a vicious cat though. Yeah, I know I mean, how to use guns very well. Yeah. <laughs> very no, very like, trained. I had a very uh, one of my best friends. She. Um, has my back in so many ways I, I can't I can't even describe it but she watches my videos and is super supportive and she's like don't show your view be careful like you mentioned this you know what I mean she's like very mm -hmm. conscious of the safety mm -hmm. that and the vulnerability that is going online I mean she works kind of in the industry regardless she's like super conscious and aware of this stuff and I feel like so much better that I have somebody like that on my side, you know, constantly reminding me to take care of myself in that way, in a way that I didn't know how to take care of myself. That even though we're millennials, even though we're, I mean, we're older millennials and we grew up with the internet and AIM and all that stuff. Um, my understanding and what I've heard from her and other people is that Gen Z, the younger ones, 
are really the ones that understand how to protect themselves from the internet because of the exposure growing up in high school, middle school with, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, all this nonsense. So yeah, that's true. Um, they, they, you know, they got it from the very beginning, whereas we had to adjust to it. We're learning. We're learning. Yeah. This isn't normal human human interaction. We're not sitting down right now, the three of us, at a coffee shop, having, you know, a chat. We're posting something on the internet that could be triggering to somebody who could figure out where we live. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And we have really small, relatively speaking, platforms, so the risk is relatively low. But it could the risk is still there regardless. It's there yeah, regardless. Even if it's only ten people watching your stuff, yeah. it, it take that one person to go out of control. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there obviously the risk is higher when you have more people following you. Um, <laughs> but especially you know, like it's like it could trigger jealousy in people, you know, like like I I think we were watching Hive stream or I was watching Hive stream and that kid that was doing the Ryan rap and he was just like, Oh, I got more money than you, blah blah blah. Like it could be jealousy triggering them, like, Oh, they get to buy all this Lego. Yeah, I mean, especially what the for. hate was. <laughs> hey, I don't it was just a <laughs> like what is track. Well, why are you mad at Ryan for? I don't think that this kid's tracks matter. are just for like, attention. It's like a love hate. It's like an obsession kind of thing. He's, he's wanted to talk to him. But I mean it's just the fact that I think, like, because I've seen, I've watched, fucking, I've watched live streams where grown, grown ass men are jealous of stuff, and I'm just like, really, bro, you sound dumb right now. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. It's insane. Like, it's jealousy. totally insane. So this community, though, like, you know, that we we exist in, right? Like, how many factions are there on the YouTube in the YouTube space? Like, I. I'm so, okay. I'm super. How, much, how much are you familiar with? I guess would be the better question. Like our ten friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so imagine Thanks, hundreds of those ten friends that are turning <laughs> around. Yeah. Okay, so you have, you know, I guess you would say you're, you're. We could be very generalistic. You have your Star Wars, Bionicle, Ninjago, military. Yeah, you have those facets, right. and then within yeah. those, you have your subcategories with specific things like your mock makers, your, you know, your reviewers and use blah 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 blah, and then you have like other subcategories with like, you know, us. You know, yeah, like we're like us three. We would be. Yeah, this we is like we have our own community of, of this podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the community. Yeah, touch, itself. yeah, we do touch on things that like people in the community are Don't. like. Oh, that's taboo. You can't talk about that. We only talk right. about Lego. Oh, Which that. is that's what I was getting at earlier. <laughs> it's real like, life over here. Watch, no. You don't want it. I want to be real. But I get it though. It's like I get that. Like, come, you want a place where you can go that you don't want to think about work and politics and the shit yeah. you know on the news and all that stuff. And you yeah, want, like, sure. oh, you just want to see the plastic bricks and you just want to lose your mind. And I get it. I've been there. This isn't it. This is a little bit of both. It's like you're both. dipping your toe back to reality, and maybe this can help you transition back into the real world in a healthy. Yeah, I'm just way. trying to make everybody have eyes behind their heads. That's it. Yeah. yeah. You, watch like, all of it. you should never be fully invested in trust on a person. You know what I mean? They have to really like trust and trust and loyalty is proven. Like you have to prove that. You know what I mean? You're not. Yes. I don't automatically just it's trust like, you because you you shake my hand. Do you think that you it's say like that earned. because of your military pass? Well, or I don't have a military hood, pass. <laughs> I think that's the same true. thing. Going like, respect is earned. You want respect, respect is guy. earned. Like that's, that's, I agree with that's that. A but the way, that's a military way. That's you know like. I feel trust, like trust falls with respect. Yeah, yeah. Respect is earned. Is never given. Yeah. That, yeah, that that I think is across the board. But a lot of people, if you're like kind of glass half full about stuff, it's like I trust you until until you give me a reason not to. Exactly, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit like that. Yeah. yeah oh I yeah. Feel, I, 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 that, yeah. I I think nothing. Like I, I try to be the benefit of the doubt about everybody. Like you wrong me, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you're just having a bad day. You wrong me again, like hey dude, <laughs> I need yeah. you to chill. You wrong me a third time. That's when I hit you in the face. <laughs> so, wow. like, I right. gave, well, I gave there, you, you know, there's different forms of confrontation that you know we all partake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not saying I would actually hit you in the face. Like, it's, it's been a while. Since a verbal, a verbal, a verbal physical verbal. confrontation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> outside, outside the military and biker forms. Um, <laughs> but no, just no, trying no, to get I, the point across. You yeah, know like no. you know, what I mean, don't, you stepped on my shoes. Can hey. you just apologize? That's it. I'm, I'll just ask for an apology. That's it. These are new. Yeah, exactly. Why are no? you sitting down while you're shaking my hand? Stand up. Like, <laughs> oh, man. That's, oh, my God. God damn, these little kids. <laughs> Has no one taught you anything? 
uh, who taught you shit? This Sorry, is how it falls I'm, in line. Oh, no, <laughs> Wait, so I have a question, though, because, like, the content that we create is around Lego, and so we're inherently going to get... It's children's content as well. It's, like, it's not just... It's not just for adults, right? Yeah. It's a children's toy. Oh, yeah. So this is a good learning opportunity to kind of teach them, like, you know, like, this... Like, has any other is any other YouTuber going to be talking about this crap? I don't know. Are you think? I mean, how many minutes are we in? You think they're going to still be listening if they're like? I mean, I mean, if, if, if we gain some attention, if we reach one person, I'll be happy. Okay, yeah, that's good. 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 I mean, they could be teenagers too, though. You know, teenagers need to learn stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, and from our mistakes, basically that we've made. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like I mean, my own community, like. I, and I'm not saying my own community, like my community. I'm talking about the community that I'm kind of mostly in, which is like the military side of Lego, yeah. which is the, uh, you know, the, the Lego's unwanted children, I guess you would say. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds pretty dope. I might I make did. that a thing. Um, <laughs> <Take> a <jacket>. <laughs> um, <laughs> like there's drama within ourselves. Like I, I, as someone who is a, like a military veteran and then, I, I, I'm one of those people that came to the Lego space to escape, but not only to escape like life in general, it's mm-hmm. just to kind of immerse myself in some positivity because, yeah. you know, outside in the real world, it's not so positive all the it's time. It's very dark out there. It's yeah, very dark, very dark. So I come into a group of people that, you know, I find other veterans out there. I find other like, you know, people with the same type of mindset of, of why they love the brick. Mm-hmm. And then there's still drama. <laughs> Like of human beings. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. but not only that. Like, I see companies fighting against each other, like third-party companies fighting each other, and I find myself really conflicted because I support them all, or at least I try to. Yes, I'm more branded towards one or the other, just because one's bigger and I've known their product for a lot longer. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know much about these other companies, and when I try to venture out, like. You know, sometimes I'm just shut shut in the face, like, yeah, like because I'm affiliated with the larger one. Like you know what I mean? You in a box, yeah. Like they want you to pick sides. Yeah, exactly. And like you know, I'm blocked from a few for some random reason because I made a true opinion. Like I can't even say that. Like it, it, it's and 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 only this only happened recently. The the last large one, large conflict happened recently. Where if you really want to see what I'm talking about, look like ten videos from this post you know, 12 videos from this post you'll be able to see it in the comment section and what i'm talking about like it's mm-hmm. it's not just like the fans that are arguing with each other it's the head honchos of these companies but they're part of the community though right like yeah, how- they are they're they're among they're a part of the greater lego community i guess you would say yeah. they're also part of the you know influencer for the sub category of that community yeah. which would be the military side in in which we all look to them for guidance as far as what are like what are they doing you know what like, i mean and they didn't they start out as eight balls as well and then transition into this more like corporate like they decided to like make a business like turn their hobby into a business they saw an yes. opportunity or yeah yeah so they kind of it was like you know maybe they weren't making youtube content but they like took that transition and then mm-hmm. do you think a lot of the drama is coming from the fact that social media is like present and ever present with this. Yeah, no, mo- like, most definitely. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with social media. Like yeah. you can't really understand the context of a sentence on a text, right? You don't see emotions there. You yeah, read right. it and you interpret the emotions however you see fit. You know, I can be telling you to hey, go sit down when you interpret that as me yelling at you to go sit down. Oh, yeah. oh go right. sit down, huh? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So I, it really is just me, hey, go chill. That, that's, that's all I'm telling you to do. Yeah. Like, go, go take a break. That's what I'm telling you to do. But you're taking it as I'm yelling at you. So yeah, like, basically, however I read it is. Exactly. So yeah. people forget that. That's why like in my own organization, in, in the world outside this world, my motorcycle club, like if you have an issue, you don't text. You no, call. you don't. You have if, a conversation. If, yeah, you have a conversation over the phone. It. If this is serious, serious, where we don't want anybody to listen to us, you better show up at my door and we're going to talk outside. Yeah, I mean, you know honestly, I mean? like, that's even, I mean, you can apply those rules to, like, any. Here's not so much because we're all spread out. Yeah, right. no, but to any normal, like. Relationship? Like normal social dynamic or um, corporate situation. Like, for example, um, so many times, like, I just, my CEO, he's constantly, like, you know, people send too many emails. And if you just like pick up the phone and call somebody, it's so much more impactful, so much more effective and creates that relationship that you need to do, not just from a business perspective, but from just a human perspective that that yeah. connection needs to be made. Because you actually, like, at least 
Yeah, you're actually at least talking to someone and not just like yeah, I mean, you reading because to... even sometimes you can read an email and then you don't reply to it right away. You're just like, oh, okay, I'll get back to that. And so that kind of breaks up the conversation. You're like, uh, they'll reply to it and then you read it you're like, oh, yeah, what were we talking about again? And then, well, Yeah, we're not, it's just, not that way. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, you know, interpretations all, <laughs> it kind of messes everything up. And that's where we see like drama happen, like is misinterpretation, miscommunication. So do you think like Lego corporate misinterprets intention? The YouTube, some YouTube creators, or yeah. some creators in general. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm victim to that from the Lego group. Right from your own personal experience, my, as an employee, experience. not as um not as a creator though, right? As an employee and a creator, no, not as a creator. Yeah, yeah. As an employee, I've been victim to that because of who I am and what I am, as far as the love for the hobby. But that's a different topic on the side. But someone who is like very well known in this community, like you know, at least anyone who goes to a convention at least five five years ago on or before prior five years ago, mm -hmm. and or like within our own general community, like the the YouTube side, mm -hmm. um, this part of it knows who this gentleman is, and mm -hmm. like he's been screwed over by Lego really hard, like super hard. He gave his entire oh life, adult life, to to the hobby. Um, only to be let go with 2,000 other people for some stupid reason because corporate downsizing, even for 2% loss in profits, they, they downsize that way. Uh, sorry, I, I keep getting to the tangent. So for someone like him, like to even remotely just stay for the community in its own, says something about the community. Right. But for Lego in general to kind of like rip the remaining part of that from him, says something about people <laughs> even in the latest so, i don't agree with like you know what happened and i obviously like don't know enough about the subject but i'm gonna play a little bit of devil's advocate here from the corporate perspective big corporations people come and go all the time when you're an employee somewhere you forget that you are replaceable yeah and I feel, yeah. it's unfortunate but you are everybody's replaceable um, and it's important to recognize that so that your entire life doesn't become your job. I think that's really important. Yeah, as and long as you're working for possible. someone else. Yeah. What? So as long as you're working for someone else, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta feel that way. Yeah. Exactly. And then, as an if you're working for yourself and you have employees, you need to remember that as well. But that you are also replaceable, even as the boss, you are replaceable. Yeah, so true. these big corporations, you know. Jobs change hands, positions change, there's layoffs, it happens. it's the reality of, of a big corporation. Is there any possibility that they were unaware and so disconnected that it wasn't a personal attack? That the the needs and, and wants of an individual wasn't even considered because it was totally irrelevant? Are, are we talking about him recently or are we going to talk about him in his past? There's two different, there's two different answers to that question. Oh, well, I mean, maybe both. Maybe if you can, I, I don't know. I'm curious in both situations. Well, in like a mass let's, let's, let's talk more recent and... since it's more apparent. Um, he got in, he got pretty much told by Lego to stop doing what he's doing, um, which is pretty much creating stickers of Lego bricks or Lego artwork, right? He's just drawing Lego artwork and he's selling it. It's not like he's making thousands of dollars a week, right? He's making pennies on a dime. That's literally mm -hmm. what he's making. Mm -hmm. He's not like, you know, he has an Etsy and that's pretty much it in his own website. It's not like he's selling a Target or anything like that. Whereas the Lego minifigure is literally used by almost every YouTuber, almost every YouTuber on the platform in some yeah. factor, right? Whether it be on their banner, whether it be their profile picture, whether that be using the Lego logo on their video, on their video. Yeah. Um, but they're it. profiting from it. They're profiting from advertising, uh, right? Creative. But licensing of some other company yeah yeah so these these large youtubers or anyone who has ad revenue profits from that right 10 times more than what the gentleman does right so why target him specifically when his channel doesn't even remotely do any of that and not harm everybody else okay so those people i'm going to keep playing devil's advocate okay i'm just literally putting that caveat out there that i still don't think <laughs> that say, but i'm just doing it for the sake of conversation because i actually think it's very interesting um, those people, those big YouTubers that are making a lot of money, none of them have ever been uh, true Lego employees, signed a contract with Lego, signed an NDA. One of them is. 
Interesting. Uh-uh. I didn't know that. I can't say who that is. I didn't know that. Okay, that's fine. We don't need to get it. But that's why I would assume. Actually, that there's that. a few. I would name, but See, not her. It's kind of interesting to me, too, because like people do... Uh, what I, I think it's called deviant art or something, but like you can draw Disney characters and you can sell them if it's your own create, like if it's your own, uh, what would it be like interpretation of it? Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, it's which creative is, licensing. Yeah, that's like, which is like take, the take same thing that he's doing, I think, right? Like, yeah, pretty much. So, how I just feel like I, that's not different. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a patent lawyer. I don't. Yeah, that's don't that's where it gets. The, the thing is, they th- the thing is here is that he's made it very apparent that people within that corporate world knows what he's doing, that he's still involved in the community, that he's actually airing a lot of a lot of secrets that should not be aired. Well, and that's the issue. It's yeah, not. So I don't it, think it's the drawing. Then it's, it's no, no. Nice. It's it, it was definitely. I feel like it was a personal attack, um, and. What the things that he was making public was, and, and his goal, his goal to making these public wasn't necessarily to demonize like Lego at all. Mm-hmm. No, what he, what his goal was to do this, take just the, like the, yeah. the rose colored tinted rose exactly. tinted glass. with what is Lego. That what is that expression? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. But but we all see Jade Lego Shades. the company as this ominous like deity of a company that can do no wrong. That's why yeah. a lot of people see Lego, the Lego company, a lot of people. That's that all part of their branding. That is, they've yeah. done that. That's a very intentional thing. And I think there's, I think it's very smart of them because it is a children's toy at the end of the day. And there's an innocence and yeah. Disney has done the same thing, by the way. And it's a naivete that they, ha- it's like, you know, a, a big part of becoming from a child to an adult is losing that that sense of innocence innocence is like realizing the world that's around you, realizing that your parents are human and they made a lot of mistakes and a lot of those mistakes made you a shitty person. And that's like, you know, that's the reality. And you, mm-hmm. there's that innocence and that dreamlike playfulness that is so inherently important to the image of these companies, these toy companies that has to be maintained. It is part of the branding and it has to exist, like for them to be successful. But if they are, if there's like a, you know, a blast out there, if they're completely, if their closets are open and we see all the dirty laundry and it's aired out, the majority of their buyers, of their consumers, the parents and the kids are going to pull back and they can't afford that. No, of course not. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. To- that, that I totally understand. That That's yeah. just public. <laughs> that's just like, um, PA all like all over that. There we go. Oh, it's all PR. over that. Like it, it does no, it does nothing but harm to air out any form of laundry. But the way he was like saying, like his own stories and experiences, wasn't necessarily like to, like point that out, like air dirt, dirty laundry like that. That was just kind of he was like bringing up reasons to like, like some questions were like why. Why there's I know like one of the conventions like there were conventions around Lego stores like let's say let's just use mine for example Bricks LA mm-hmm. so the two the, if you were if you were an attendee to Bricks LA I forgot the actual convention mm-hmm. but uh, if you were to go to a Lego store you'll get an extra ten percent off your purchases right that's just an extra perk like you show them your ticket or your wristband you get an extra ten percent off yeah. for Lego which is pretty cool that's you know that's a Lego that's like Lego saying they want to support the the whole thing and you know it's usually AFOLs and kids that that want to buy more Lego what's wrong with that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so what happened was something happened and then his boss's boss's boss is like why are we doing that they're gonna come and buy Lego anyways get rid of the discount yeah you know what I mean so yeah. it, it really it, it really just point highlights the fact that lego is a company They're they don't owe the consumer anything yeah they don't owe yeah. and that's the thing like we we think lego is listening to us and they're not <laughs> they're they're paying attention but they're going to do whatever they want to do like star I wars think they're company, also yeah, like they an older that. company that are just um they haven't really kept up to date with like a lot of other lar- like like the beauty community and whatnot, you know, these like larger corporations that are fueled by the internet and YouTube in like a much stronger way. Like we as AFOLs and as YouTuber creators, like we're not, there's not that many of us. We don't have that many followers relative to others. You know what I mean? We, we not only that, like even the largest YouTuber in Lego is only like what? One point something mil. Like it's not a lot of people. 
And, no, and, not and relative even to the his subscribers, yeah. only like what 20% are actually active on his channel. So yeah. if you were to round up every the, single large Lego female YouTuber, one. the female YouTuber, she's bigger. The, she does the friends content, all the mini dolls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know she is. Yeah, but well, she, that's kids' content. As but well. still, though, like it's still like 20, 30% of their subscriber count that's actually watching the stuff. Well, a good majority of them, like at the, that in population wise, that's not a lot of people. So. Yeah, I think she's actually got better numbers than that. But still, no, I agree. Oh, though. I'm talking about like as a, yeah, as a yeah. consumer, the general basis of consumers aren't watching YouTube. That's yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. And not just that, but this like is... the my point was like Lego hasn't had to keep up and be able to handle this community and be able to utilize this community to their benefit. Oh, you no. know, yeah, I don't they have. They really try. I think they're just. I think they're yeah. scratching the surface, and I think. I, you know, if they were smart, they probably would get more involved and engaged. And and well, the, the last the really last person to really clear. do that mm -hmm. was the person that just got turned yes. away. Right, that was their attempt to do that, and they did probably such a piss poor job of it that this. No, is no, no, he did an amazing. No, job no, 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 not him. Their handling of the situation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because they don't really care. Probably they're just like, oh, you're talking to adults that buy Lego. Like, so what? Yeah, at the time there was no focus on the AFO. And I and he made it apparent like now that it, there, there really isn't really a fo focus on the AFO. Like what they're marketing to is new new people. They're trying yeah, to bring people. That's what the 18 plus line. It's Yeah, not they're up. not they're not trying to be like they're not trying to taint us. We, they, you look at us and be like, "Do we care if it's black?" No, we're still going to buy regardless. Yeah, we are already in. We're already in. We're going to buy if it's colorful. We're going to buy if yeah. it's black. It doesn't matter. We, we might hate that it's black, but we'll still buy it. But it's the the adult that walks by and sees a black wall worth of Lego, like, so oh, that looks pretty interesting. Oh, that was cool. Let's go inside and look. That's who they're happen. targeting. Yeah. So they're not necessarily like this, this facade of just thinking Lego listens to its communities. Eh. <laughs> They'll so, yeah. take a note. I just want to throw this uh, this this wrench real quick. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, do you think they care if Bionicle is for the 90 year anniversary? If they do Bionicle and no, they already have built? this stuff figured out, I think they're already. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Why'd you say that? It's already for is the set hour, coming yeah. out this year or next year? Next 20, year, 2022. I just right. had to do that because oh, that they don't hurt, care. Dude. They that, don't that care. That was a slap, dude. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be, I don't, it's gonna I don't be distraction. They, they're probably gonna do it to make everybody shut up. <laughs> That's probably pretty much it's gonna be. Um, here you go, guys. It failed again. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like we like to think, like you know, Lego listens to the the Star Wars fan, the fan group, the fan fan group, fan fan community with the five hundred first. I think what they did is piss us off. Yeah, they what they did was raise the price. They raised. They made a larger set that's hard to yeah. attain and made it more profitable for them. Yeah, They're like oh, you guys want that? Oh, they okay, listen. All this. right, let's make it thirty bucks instead of fifteen, and then it's a uh, not really a battle pack. It's uh, like a super thing, so you're gonna have to buy tons of these. <laughs> like oh, you guys want armies? Okay, let's get it in a forty dollars. Exactly. Set. So that's what I think yeah. that is, and like the whole like gunship or, with you know not the figures not being what they're supposed to be like or hope to be like. Come on, they're not. The, the designers aren't true Star Wars fans. Like they don't want, yeah, they don't just, listen to every, they don't read designers. every comic book. They're not into the lore. They they follow what they see and they'll make what they can make. That's it. Especially since they're under license, they kind of they have to do what Disney says, right? They're like, hey, you gotta to an extent, yeah. Imagine, follow along these lines. Sure, I can't imagine all the hoops that have to be jumped through with companies like Lego and Disney working together. These like mega monster old school companies that have some pretty serious um, pull. Pull money and history and institutionalized um, company cultures that are and rules that are set in. I'm really curious, like, you know, how those are. And I don't know. I, 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 I know Lego is the number two toy company in the world. Their, bro their brand is known everywhere. Even fake Legos considered Lego by most people. Everyone recognizes the brick. Right. So to not want to do business with Lego is very interesting um to choose like a knockoff brand company like brick mozo because i wanted the office set versus lego yeah there's Damn probably you, like costs that they didn't want to incur <laughs> rules that they didn't want to adhere to ndas that they didn't want to sign you know it's really it's interesting i mean it's, it's it, there's a lot of hush hush it's a private company for a reason so that they control that and at the end of the day i think as consumers 
we want the company to succeed because we want more product to be made. We don't want them to go under. I mean, they're succeeding really good right now because all they're doing is doing is great stuff and we're all broke. <laughs> yes. And COVID has been very good for the company. But um, I think as any big corporation goes, there are individuals that are obviously like bulldozed uh, in the process and it's heartbreaking. And even I don't, you know, I don't know the individual that we've referenced, but I've heard him spoken through, you know, your words and other people that mean a lot to me. And um, I'm, I'm saddened, you know, for, for the, the, the pain that that person must go through to want to exit an entire community and group of friends permanently. I, I don't blame him. No, I don't him. at all. But I don't blame um, him. But it, Le Lego has hurt a lot of people. Um, not only that, companies who Lego has bought out and then, termina and then term terminated right afterwards. Mm -hmm. Like Should we not buy things on Amazon. Should we? Not? <laughs> you know, it's like if you if this these are some pre these are you know these are ethical questions that like as consumers we have the power to partake in with the choices that we make. That's true. Vote with um, our wallets. Yeah, and. You know, yeah, maybe a few of us like not buying it isn't going to make that big of a difference. But like, does it morally and ethically make you sleep better at night if you don't support companies that do that? And then oh. who do you trust? Do you automatically trust them or do you, you know, it kind of all kind of wrap, it just wraps. It's a, you know, it, it can be a very love hate relationship. Like with me, I love Lego, mm -hmm. but like I hate them. Like when I really, really pondered it, like ponder about it. I think it, it would have been better if you never worked for them. It would have been better if I was never pulled. Yeah. <laughs> if you, no, if you're I, 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 I kind of look at things like this. Everything for me, everything happens for a reason. There's a reason why somehow this all happened. Of Am course. I upset about it? Yeah. Do I see the real, like, do I see the light of the end of the tunnel right now? No, but I know eventually I'm going to see a return in something. You know what I mean? Yeah. In my short, you know, tenure with them, I met some great people. I was going to say, don't you think the return is the, community that you fostered here aren't those human connections like I, mean, I, met, I met ninja in my store yeah 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 that's so awesome. like we got to meet there so that's a, that's something Amazing. that i'm always going to cherish like um you know i met all the lego masters like they all came to my store and i got to work with the i got to work with the show so that i mean that was pretty cool it's, I mean, i'm talking about like me and our other friends i think that was see, i would have <laughs> <laughs> yeah but see i, I, I was somewhat venturing into the community like before i was with lego mm -hmm. Got so, it. that probably would have happened regardless yeah so i, I think okay. regardless of how that would have happened i uh, you would still we would have met regardless You'd be here. yeah that's true because yeah. because we met online and we were planning on going to bricks la yeah something fell through and then you started working there and i was like well yeah it just I'll popped up my lap I'm like i guess sure right. i'm there. tired of this company so let me go over here <laughs> so yeah. Um, but see the thing is I would have never left that company, which I didn't want to be a part of anymore. I was in a safety yeah, net yeah. over there. I was making shit little money and then I was just like, but I don't want to do that. I don't see myself doing that for the rest of my life. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And I couldn't find a reason to leave and Lego was that reason for me to leave. And I left and then Lego kind of threw me out in the dust and I'm trying to figure it out right now. So whether that be utilizing my, my education, which I don't plan on doing or finding something new, like right now I'm. Even though I'm, I, I'm working for the post office, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm going to stick there. I'm literally just going to see what it has to offer me when I'm done with, you know, the my like apprenticeship type feel yeah. that I'm yeah. obligated to do. Like, yeah. I'm, I've, I'm very capable. I personally feel like I'm capable of way more than what I'm doing right now. And I just don't know what it is yet. And I'm trying to figure that out. I feel the same way. So, I feel the same you know, way. we're all in the same boat. Do you think it's our age? It, I feel yeah. maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like, you know, like we, we, we know by this point, anybody like by this point, when you're like in your late 20s, early 30s, you should know what you're capable of, hopefully. And then if you fall into a position where like you're in a rut and you're not happy, that's your opportunity to change it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Because yeah. it, 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 I'm not saying that like you know a decade from now would be too late or anything. Great things happen at pretty much any point in your life, but like right now is a good time to do it. And you know, like we all are in pivotal points of our lives that it's like we can adjust very smoothly to whatever ends up in our paths. You know what I mean? And we're yeah, experienced right. enough to be able to mentally handle it. 
You know, whereas oh, the, all these yeah. young cats, that's the one when when someone when when a new cat comes around, like, oh, I'm 18, I'm 21, I'm an adult. You're, I'm young. You're old. I'm like, no, you're stupid. <laughs> you don't know being what. That age. You don't know yeah. how to fill out a W two. <laughs> Tax season is about to be around the corner. What are you gonna do right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't know how to apply for a mortgage or let alone fill out a rental application. Like, <laughs> what's your credit score? Five hundred? Come on! Like, <laughs> you, you mean my credit like, limit? <laughs> <laughs> like, you nah, you bro. need to experience <laughs> life, and make mistakes, and then figure out like how to properly successfully survive by yourself i mean that's that's so true because when i was younger i I never messed with credit cards because i was like i don't want a credit card i don't want to have any credit blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. so fast forward to like a couple years later i tried to get a house and like you don't have any established credit i was like yeah really really common because see people around you getting into credit card debt and suffering yeah I, mean, yeah, I was like, no. you're like, fuck that. I'm gonna stay away from it. I'm gonna learn from them. And then you're yeah. like, wait a second, I can't. I even. needed that. Yeah. See, I didn't yeah. realize, but so now I gotta build up all that. But you gotta, you gotta start spending money. The best thing yeah. to do is just put your credit cards on utilities. Pay, pay utilities with credit cards. Pay off a credit oh, card yeah. instead of utility. Yeah. That's yeah. a best and use it for like gas and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have one card per utility. Have the automatic pin come from your credit card. When you see your credit card statement, pay off a credit card. Yeah, that's a good no, way see, to do it. One credit card per utility. Right, yeah. it's so it's so easy, but it's back then I thought. Parts if you have one credit, I mean, if you, you water, power, and gas, two. How about like car payments, rent? I mean, just you. No, I'm not saying do every single I was thing. Like, but, that's like a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess you would think. Credit yeah, card. but I'm talking about like also, very yeah. basic utilities that are you know, that's easily attainable because you know that's you're paying yeah. anywhere between 100 and 300 dollars for a utility. Yeah, like you like, know your, your recurring payments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, but see, when you're young though, it, that's a good time to do it. Like when I was. <laughs> I came back from Iraq like at 19 and I looked at my bank and I was like, holy crap, I have a load of money in here. <laughs> you, don't spend it. you don't spend the money. Like you don't spend your money while you're overseas fighting. Plus it's yeah. non-tax. You get extra. It's, ha- like, it's, direct deposit, right? it's going it's in all there. Direct deposit. Yeah, it's all in there. Even I, even though I left my mom like checks just for her. I'm like, here, mom, I'm going to leave you 12 checks. Do what you wish. <laughs> yeah. Have fun. Pay for your rent. Do whatever you want. I still had a grip load of money, and the thing is, I was stupid. Especially at that age, what yeah. like Dude, it, I bought a motorcycle, I bought a car, <laughs> like at a stupid APR, at twenty three percent APR because I had no credit. Like, um, I went to like we went to Vegas, and I was and with the with the homies would be like, "Hey, I got this. What's the bill? Oh, two grand. Hey, I got this." It's <laughs> on me. I was balling, I was sleeping at suites. I was. St- Stupid. You just like lit all that money on fire. Lit, lit it on fire. And like, like that, yeah. Like, you know, by the time it got down to like, holy crap, <laughs> where'd all that money go? And in, in a short amount of time frame, I'm like, oh, I could have done so much more with this money. <laughs> but, you know, like, that, I learned something. I, <laughs> I never do that again. So, does that I, happen a lot with like, yeah, with young, young home? Are, they veteran? are they telling you not to do that? Is there any kind of like, so guidance? when I was younger, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not so much. Like you know what I mean. Like it wasn't until my generation started becoming like non commissioned officers and officers and stuff like that, where uh-huh. we were like, "Hey, don't buy cars from the the car dealerships outside the base. They're gonna screw you. If you want to go buy something big, please consult me. Let me let me take care of you." Got it. There's like kind of a big brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before it was like free for all, do whatever the hell you want. Good, that's, that's good. Like, that's good. That's good. That's now good. it's like, but see that that even goes with mental status. Status like when I was younger, I was taught. Like not to show weakness. Yeah, that's a social. You know I mean? yeah. Where, whereas nowadays, I'm looking at young Marines and I'm like, "Hey, are you are you okay? You need to put that in your record jacket that you're not okay." Yeah. And they're like, "No, nah, man, I want to be." No, no, no. You need to put that. Like they force it upon you. Like they screen you before you leave. They didn't screen me before I left. Yeah. And now that's screwing me over. So well, like, the second, that, yeah. You no, know, no. But the second time I came back from Afghanistan, like same shitload of money. I was smart enough not to do that the second time. And I made sure the 30 Marines that are under my charge didn't do the same thing. That's good. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. cap- I, I wasn't fortunate to have the same type of guidance, but I learned something to be able to pass on to other people. But see that that's the thing that these young kids that don't know, like like you have to make mistakes sometimes to learn and pass on knowledge. And otherwise, if you're not learning it from someone else that's above you, you gotta figure it out. Yeah. So yeah, there you, there's stuff you gotta learn yourself though too. Yeah. No you matter times your parents tell you to do x y and z yeah the, your parents can tell you everything and you're not going to do it until you do it right you learn you, know I mean? more, you learn more from your losses than your wins 
Yeah, exactly. And that's why, like, you know, like the community and all, a lot of it, a lot of people are young, right? And then, like, it, it's saddening, though, when you see adults our age or older start bickering over each other. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, do you think but, uh, because, like, the community is so uh, insular and I don't know, do you think it, like, fosters a, a childlike attitude? People are just an adult? people are just super passionate about their opinions and online they're not oh, yeah. used to, just i mean like, we could say the same thing about politics too right yeah, exactly <laughs> the lack right. of filters and yeah, yeah. so yeah. It, it the lego is just no it's no difference it's, it's all the same. it's all the same like you like bionicle i like ninjago <laughs> that, that's that's where it's going to end gonna... purely speculation <laughs> <laughs> but do you guys realize that you know we are only like a small tiny portion of the community yeah, right. one little yeah. like that. When you really like think that. about it, like you have like Instagram, that. you have lugs, you have Flickr, which somehow is still around. Yeah, you know? the old school. That's what I was say the old you school. Facebook A-Bos. groups, yeah. right? Which you are a part of, maybe a few. I don't know. Yeah, I'm part of a couple of them, and they are very different. Very different. I'm not active. I'm like just mem- just a member. You know what I mean? Or just like I just, I think I found the Facebook world before I found the YouTube world. Discord. There's, there's even Discord. non-social media. Like, like yeah lugs lugs yeah lugs people have actually you seen a lug anywhere near you or do you plan on joining one you have I ie haven't. close to you oh is there it's, ie lug they have am, a pretty I'm so, cool mock every year i'm so reclusive though like in real life oh, see, really? i, I want to also, also think lug. about also think about how many people are like you that don't come out to a community that are part of the overall yeah, spectrum yeah. of lego love you know what i mean yeah There's a lot exactly. of people like you that like people like like me a couple years ago that didn't know about this just had mm-hmm. Lego in their room, like like I didn't so, know there was a falls like what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so to finish this up, then like what brought you to here? Then like what brought you to this space? Why did you take that step to be like to publicly say that you love Lego at this point and join this specific community versus the other ones? The people. The people for sure, and then like. I think I found myself here naturally. It was just like I gravitated towards people that I would probably hang out with in real life. At least the the peop- the perception that they were um, projecting onto the internet. Right. Like it's that it's that simple. I was like, I want people to talk to about this hobby. I'm gonna go online. I started doing like I started hopping onto live streams and like chatting, especially like CC was one like, one of the first people um, I connected with. And then I realized I was like, this is kind of weird. Like if I actually want to create some kind of meaningful connection. I need to like create content and I like creating content. I've always liked creating content. So I started Mm -hmm. creating content and putting a face behind the name and putting my personality and becoming vulnerable on live streams and stuff. You know, when I say vulnerable, I mean, just like saying who I am and that's it. And I'm happy about it. I I couldn't be happier about it. Pretty much same thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, there you go. I used to, I used to like take pictures and stuff of my toys back in the day and make little stop motions. Oh, and then I don't know, just <laughs> yeah, just started doing it again and then <laughs> found sense. out about a Lego community. I was like, What? And then same same with Claire, like I connected with people that were like minded with me and I was like, This is pretty cool. Cause like in my day to day I don't just run into A Falls like, Oh hey, what's up? Oh, you like Lego? Like I don't really put it out there. Like if someone brings it up, I'll talk about it, but I'm not like talking about that for the first thing. So that's, yeah, like, that's what got me into this. I could talk about Lego to other people. Yeah. Yeah. That, that get it. <laughs> They're not like, oh, what the hell? You collect toys, bro? But. Fuck so why here, though? Why here? Like, why YouTube instead of, like, Instagram or Facebook? Was well, it, it, was, it was Instagram first. Me too. Mm-hmm. And, and then. Yeah. Then you saw then, the link to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Well, was, check was, out my last of my latest YouTube video. <laughs> And then that's I, when I forget started. how it happened, man. I mean, I, that's a, I mean, that's how a lot of people get into it. Is like you know, Facebook or Instagram. You see a video, mm-hmm. you see like the link to something. You look at it. You end up on a stream, and then you realize that there is more than just posting a video. And, and yeah. although streaming doesn't really, I feel, grow your channel as much or as mm-hmm. fast or as, as large, it does Good connection. It does, yeah, it gives you connection and a true sense of a community within itself. Right. You know what I mean? Because each, that, yeah. well, if we all three of us were to do our own different streams at all different times, obviously we're all three of us going to be seen within the stream somewhere, 
whether it be on the panel or on the on the chat. Mm -hmm. But then you have a certain amount of people that will always come to your stream, and that's the little community that you've created. Exactly. Yeah. That's... That are always going to support you, like yeah. you know, with they're hopefully. With you. They're yeah. With you. Yeah. yeah. And then you know, occasionally you'll have that one or two, you know, one or two of them would create, would hop onto this where they're becoming vulnerable and showing who they are, and then overall the becoming. Pressure. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not telling everybody to do that, <laughs> no, but I mean, it, it takes you know, it takes a little bit to to get to where this position is, where you're able to become a face in a public platform. You know what I mean? Cool. Holy crap, this was deep a face. This is good. <laughs> oh. Don't do that finger. This is good. <laughs> What what are we who are we who are we talking on next week? Oh crap, we were supposed to do that at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I I oh. realized it like halfway through. Um, like, ninja, you were supposed to say something, bro. <laughs> My bad, y'all. My bad. All right, so next week we're gonna it's, be on Ninja's channel. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that weekly. Maybe rotation. I might put in like text in the bottom when I like put this on. Yeah, I'm gonna do oh, that's that. That's a good idea. That's I'm gonna good. do that. <laughs> We'll get better. We'll get better. We're we'll good. I mean, it's, still... it's, it's gonna go in a general rotation. We have you know Ninja and then Claire after that, then me after that. Unless you know there's something that we're really passionate about, then we could always like take over that. It's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. But, exactly. All right. Yeah. So does anyone we still have the playlist? We do have the playlist, and you guys are going in order, right? One, two, three, four. I'm going in reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going in order. Yeah, you're going in order. Uh, that, that's good to have both ways. <laughs> so that way you're still projecting new, and then you're also projecting. Because there's people that rather see the latest one. Oh, you're right. I didn't think, yeah, you know what? I might switch it. No, no. no. <laughs> okay. Well, Claire wants okay, to go no. in order. Like, I'm going in order. She's okay, going. Like, okay, fine. You, you and I can go in reverse order. <laughs> Mine's just going to be random now. <laughs> I, might, I, might change it. I might change it. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Peer pressure. <laughs> See, Why? peer pressure is a thing, man. I feel like our first episode was like a, it's like a good introduction of what the hell we're doing. <laughs> I agree. It I agree. is. And I if agree. you put that, if all of us are. Any of them. You know, you can kind of walk into any of them. Yeah, that's true, I guess. Maybe. Well, <laughs> so we're still going to figure out what we're going to talk about next week. <laughs> um, we'll but if you have a suggestion, please like comment below. Uh, we'll be on Ninjas, so please go over there and listen for it on Friday around noon, our time. Yeah, we can say that Pacific Standard Time noon. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Very much East Coast crap, man. This is West Coast for life. Pacific um, <laughs> Standard, baby. <laughs> uh, any last words? No, we got nothing. Don't hate. Damn, Spread man. love, man. Chill. Yeah. Everybody's just chill. <laughs> God damn. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good night. Take it easy. Uh, see you in the next one. All right, guys. Be easy.